Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Year 2023 started last night at 12 o'clock. Happy New Year to you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring infinite peace upon you, around you, and within you. And same to your family and family members. I mean, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring a lot of happiness, a lot of success, a lot of prosperity in your family and within you, inshallah. I mean, so either some people they said, why we say Happy New Year on this lunar calendar or solar calendar, Islamic calendar or Christian calendar. So I say either it's the first January or it is the first Muharram. Both are the months of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even all 12 months, they are the months of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned them in Quran, in Surah Tawbah, which is Surah number 9, verse number 36, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about and he's saying surely the numbers of the months according to Allah is 12 as written in the books of Allah on the day he created heavens and the earth of which there are four sacred months and these four sacred months they are mentioned in the book of Hadith. So all these months are the months of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there are some people when the new year begins they also make dua so there is no specific dua for the beginning of the month or beginning of the year rather than there is a dua of the beginning of the month which says Allahu Akbar Allahumma ahlihi alayna bil amn wal iman wal salama wal islam wal tawfiq lima tuhibbu rabbana wa tarda rabbana wa rabbuk Allah Allah is the greatest Allah brings us the new moon with security and faith with peace and iman islam and in harmony with our Lord loves and what pleases him. Our Lord and your Lord is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a dua and there are some other duas which are you know narrated by Sahaba which they used to do practice for that one there are and if anybody is doing these duas that is fine. But we should not say any specific dua okay this is the dua for the beginning of the year because there is no dua but we can always make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when either new year begins or new month begins because all are the months of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now I want to pause here for a moment and I would say that we want to reflect on our last year this is the whole message I want to deliver in this video a small video that what we did in last year what was missing in last year year 2022 and what we want to achieve in year 2023 this is most important that reflection because suppose in last year i wanted to achieve some goals but i could not achieve those goals last year now i want to achieve these goals this year i want to I want to improve something in my personality. I want to improve something in my uh, relationship with my siblings, with spouse, with parents, with my neighbors, with my colleagues, which I could not improve. And this year, I want to do it. This is what we have to reflect upon that one. And now, like last year, there's a month of Ramadan. And the month of Ramadan is coming in three months, in, uh, in March. So either I'm prepared, well equipped, to go through this month. Am, am I ready to do more ibadahs in this month? And Ramadan is only one month. There are so many other months, like 12 months. All these months are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I just read the words from Surah Tawbah, these are the months of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So each month has certain you know, attributes, certain things, whether I'm from the religious point of view, I, am I well equipped? for those months or not, or from the worldly point of view, whether I'm well equipped to cope with the challenges of the world or not. So this, I will give message to even children, those who are our future, those who are beacon of hope for us in future in North America and Canada, America, Australia, Europe, and everywhere around the world, even in Middle East or Pakistan, Asia, everywhere. So whether these youth are ready for 2023 
in a positive way. I, I'm not talking about wasting time in games and all these things. Yes, definitely. As a insan and human, as a social animal, so we have to live in society. We need some entertainment. We need some games. We need some sports. We need, you know, a whole lot of things. But we should balance our life. We should not waste our time, and we should be ready to face the challenges of the world. And there is also verse in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I do not change the condition of the people, those who do not want to change, change themselves. So either we are ready to bring change in our lives or not. This is what we have to reflect upon it. This is what we have to do for this new year. And that new year, which began last night at 12 o'clock, and right now it's uh, 9.48, so it's not too late. So my new year starts right now when I'm talking. When I say, okay, this is a strong determination. I want to prepare myself to face the challenges of the world. And these are the challenges. Now, they come to mending relationship with our family members. This is also very important. No matter how smart I am, no matter how intelligent I am, but if my family is disturbed, everything is disturbed. I can't produce much work quality work, productive work. So I have to mend relationship with my family. I have to make a strong bond with my family, either they are my kids. If I have something going on, some dispute going on, some argument going on with my kids, I should say, okay, now this is the time, this is the high time to mend the relationship. I don't have to be stubborn because sometimes, because of our background, because of our approach, we just become stubborn. So we should not be stubborn. Always, you know, find ways to resolve the situation and come and reach to some conclusion. So mend relationship with your children, with your kids, with your spouses. This is also very important that either male or female always bring some resolution before we go to bed. Just say, I love you to each other. Just, you know, like calm down the situation, normalize the situation. If there is some argument, just forget this argument. Make this habit in New Year. And you would find that your life would be, some people they say the life is not bad of roses, but I would say that it will become bad of roses. You will enjoy your life. Spend some quality time, not a time. Some people they spend time with their family, two hours, three hours, but that's not a quality time because they are distracted here and there. Just spend some quality time with the family. And I will ask children, spend quality time with your parents you know share some memories and your memories and ask them about their memories which would you would be carrying with you and you would tell your children this is what we have to do there's a chain you know that's why we you know we heard some stories of our ancestors or the stories of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or other prophets and the sahaba and this is what we tell our children and they would tell their children so similarly every family has some stories so pass on to your generation so by that way we are making our bond stronger with our children and then come to sibling siblings sometimes it happens the siblings when they are a small kid they love each other but as they grow they have some differences differences of opinion and differences of so many things and they they get apart so don't don't do this thing always try to resolve this you know your situation or uh, problems and issues and make a strong bond with the relation uh, with your sibling and um, then the fourth one are your relatives and your neighbors they are very important my neighbor is not only my neighbor my neighbor is my family send some gifts some hadiyah to your uh, neighbors so that you get get closer suppose if my neighbor is non-believers when I am, when I'm showing my positive attitude, my positive behavior, I'm giving them hadiyah, it means I'm giving them da'wah indirectly. Then they would come and sit together and you can give them da'wah about Islam and so on. So all these things, I would say the new year resolution should be how to mend relationship with my family, with my kids, with my spouse, with with friends, with my parents, and with my neighbor. I hope New Year's will bring joy and happiness and love and peace and harmony. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.